Well, happy Sunday, everybody. It's a nice, cool, but warm day. And I'm just sitting in the car because we are at the storage place trying to find something very, very, very important that my husband needs to get out. And I only wish that when we put these things in the storage, we had taken it out before it went in or I don't know, packed it a little bit better because it's something that's crucial and we can't find it. And it's just like, oh my gosh, we really need it. Oh boy. So I got out to help him to see if I could help him, but it's kind of hard to get through there because it's so much stuff. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Uh, I know. And I already said this is not packed good, but this is just one of the storages. We have another one. It's on the other side, so I may let you guys see that. I mean, there's nothing exciting about seeing a storage, but I just wish we could find what we need. I really do, because it's crucial. And... Nothing is packed right, of course. I mean, nothing is put in here right. I feel like the furniture, like these big things you're seeing, the bed and all that, should have been way in the back. And then all the boxes that are just everywhere should have been closest to the edge, the front. So, But it wasn't, so we're going to go in the next storage and see if we can find what we need it's so crucial and i hope we find it oh man there's my fall decor i tell you i do miss my stuff i tell you i miss decorating and when we get into our place which i believe it'll be soon you guys i'll be getting back to it so well, change of plans. I don't think we're going to go at the other storage after all because Hubby says it's a lot of stuff. And it is trying to find what he needs. Got to go through all these boxes. And it's just it's more stuff in that other storage than it is the one you saw here. Oh, I haven't done much, but I'm out of breath and my back is aching. I just lifted a few things to help him move out a few things and my back is aching already, I tell you. Oh boy. But anyway, let me show you guys my new purse. That I can show you, okay? Here she is. She is so cute. I got this from TJ Maxx, like I said. Um, I think it was 30, 35, 24, between 24 and 30 something dollars. So I think it's so cute. I love the, the two zippers on the sides. Let's see if I can show you. I love the hardware. It's so pretty. And this is a pocket here and it does not go all the way across, which is nice. Then the other side. Yeah, so it has a divider here some kind of way. So I like that. But anyway, like I was saying... And really nice hardware in this purse. I really like it. Just like my old purse. Here's this little thing. And I like how it turns from side to side. Really nice. And then here is the larger tall strap. Like that. And then it has a side pocket here. Um, is that a zipper? You know, I'm not even sure if this has a zipper. It probably does. Yes, it does. And I never knew that. <laughs> I put my phone in here in this pocket. And then... Here's the side hardware here. 
and this is what I really like. I keep my my car keys in this little pouch. My old purse. No, no, no. Wait a second. I'm getting all confused. This came from my old purse, I do believe. And I think I just took it off. Yeah, I did. I took it off and I attached it to this purse because I thought it was worth keeping. This is something you don't want to get rid of. I mean, you can use this from purse to purse. So I just hooked it on there. And that's how that looks. And let me just show you guys real quick because we are about to get out of here. Yeah, and then that's how it looks on the inside. I got all my stuff in there, but. No, what about it? Good morning, everybody. Well, actually it's afternoon, but I'm still saying morning. It is 12.21 in the afternoon. I still have my gown on and <laughs> we're just now waking up. I just wanted to start breakfast but I have a little small haul, very tiny haul. We went to Walmart yesterday and I was just browsing through the Valentine uh, decor and wishing that I could, you know, decorate. But I said to myself, it doesn't make sense to be buying a lot of Valentine stuff, you know, just to decorate a small little table. And then, because I have Valentine things in storage, I just don't want to waste my money on all of that. So. Okay, when we get settled in our house, I'm going to pull all that stuff out and I'm going to be bringing you guys decor, decor, decor. We've got some house tours to look at today, me and Sam. Oh no, is it today? I think one is today and there's another one tomorrow. House tours. One is a, a town home. We don't really want a town home. They're very nice though. This is very, very nice. And I think the other one is a three bedroom house. And so it's like, what we're doing is we're just doing, we're taking whatever comes first. That's pretty much how it is. So we shall see, but there's a house that we have already looked at and we're claiming it as ours now. We're just waiting on the owner to you know, he said he has to go through like 30 applicants and we told him how much we really, 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 I mean, really, really love the house and we want it. So while we're waiting, we're just continuing to look. We don't want to stop. So anyway, I'll let you guys know when that does happen. But anyway...
Okay, here's my little small home goods haul. And I only picked up a few things. So the first thing is this cute, adorable, this is a paper, like a paper tray. Gold, and I think it's cute. And I love gold, so I can put my papers in here, or my envelopes and things like that. This will go in my home office, you know, once we move, so. And I paid, well, I didn't pay it. My gift card paid it. <laughs> but it cost, if I can get the tag out, it cost $9.99. I did pick this one up, I couldn't resist. It wasn't really anything that I could grab. So I got these beautiful blingy um, napkin ring holders, butterflies, and I think they're so beautiful, so sparkly. This was $12.99. And then the last thing I picked up was, now you know, if you guys know me, I'm a mug lover. Yes, I picked up another mug. It just seems like I cannot go to the store without buying another mug. Now, you know, that's a shame. This one says, God is good. And yes, he is. He's good all the time. God is good. And that was $4.99. Three things I picked up. This was my Christmas gift card from Home Goods from Aaron, my cute little son. So, anyway, that's all. That was it. Hi, guys. I'm in this back seat, as you can see, sitting here. And the reason why I'm in the back seat, because I'm waiting for my mother to come out of her appointment. My husband went with her to her appointment. So I'm in the back seat sitting here not feeling good I had to go to the emergency room the other day um, and they told me I have bronchitis so oh boy I just don't feel that good so I just need to lay back and I said unless I'm needed in there I won't come in to her appointment I want to stay in the car let me put some lipstick on. At least I can do that. Oh, boy, my arm is tired of holding this camera. Woo. How are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing good. I don't like not feeling good. I'm pretty sure no one likes it. It just doesn't feel good to not feel good. It feels not so good. But anywho, hmm. Um, I've got this real bad, well, you guys know I've had a cough from my previous vlogs, but the thing is how the bronchitis came about is the cough never left. It did get better and it was starting to subside for a bit, but then last week, it started to become more productive again. And the way the cough was sounding was like wheezing. And I thought to myself, oh no. And I was trying not to go to the emergency room. I was trying to get an appointment with my primary care. I have one in March, just as a follow-up. Let me switch hands. Oh, I don't have my tripod, my arm is tired. But my doctor's office uh, is not scheduling any more appointments, meaning you can't change your appointment because he's the only one working. He had a, a, a NP, nurse practitioner, but for some reason she left last year. And I don't know if that was on a good term, bad term, whatever, but I miss her. She was so nice. So he's the only doctor there uh, taking care of all of us. And he can't do it. So they won't even take walk-ins. I've been trying to call to get a, see if there's any cancellations. There is none. So 
I did not want to go to that hospital, but I knew I had to because of how I was starting to feel. I said to myself, somebody's got to listen to my chest because I could feel the congestion and with the wheezing, that was a little bit different than the cough from, what, a week or two ago. And I said to myself, hmm, I'm going to have to go in because I feel like this is a little bit more than just aftermath of the common cough because I've been coughing for a long time since having the you know the cold symptoms when me and Sam and Aaron got it over a month ago they're better they're fine but me the cough just seemed to just linger and linger and and especially when I lay down and I'm sleeping I could hear it my husband can hear it too so this cough is something else ooh Mm. Oh, and my head is hurting. I don't know why it's hurting. My BP, it was uh, I think 140 over 90. And 90 is high for me. I don't know why health health people always say, oh, that's not too bad. I've seen worse. I'm thinking, well, you know, 90-something is bad for me. Good morning. Jazzy Green family, how you guys doing today? This is Monday, and I'm on my way to the hospital. So I'm going to have a little surgery done. So it's outpatient surgery, and um, yeah, I, I guess I'm ready. <laughs> mm. So I hope you guys are having a great day. Today is uh, very, um, I won't say very sunny, but it's um kind of cloudy here in California we had some snow which I'm excited but I didn't get a chance to see the snow too much because the city that we're living in and didn't really snow that much just a very little bit sorry the camera is shaking but um the city where we moved from it snowed you know pretty nice some so I hear so I was jealous I was jealous I really was I said man we got to get back to that city so we can enjoy some snow hopefully next year but anywho um i'm all ready for this surgery i suppose i mean you know i'm a little nervous nervous because of the prepping all they got to do and the anesthesia and all that mess oh lord have mercy (laughs) i just tell you i i want to go back home okay i really really do But we are just minutes away from the hospital. It doesn't take that long, about five minutes, maybe ten minutes. So I have to be there at nine in the morning. And the surgery is scheduled for 11. So they wanted me there two hours before. And, of course, I didn't have nothing to eat or drink since actually 11 o'clock. I had my last water and I had sucked on a couple of peppermints. And now it's like, I wish I had some water. Have you guys ever heard, I think it's a mental thing, and you probably realize it too. If you're told you can't have something, how does your body respond? You feel like, oh, you're being deprived. You need water. You know, that's kind of how I feel now. It's like when I'm not told that I can't drink something, hey, I just drink and you don't feel nothing. No special way. But now that I can't drink, can't put nothing in my mouth, it feels like I need it. I think it's psychological because I don't need it, need it per se, you know. I'm just used to having it whenever I want it. So now I'm restricted just for a brief time. But anyway, I may talk to you guys depending on how the hospital is, you know, and if I feel comfortable picking up the camera. I may um, pick it up then. If not, you guys will see me sometime afterwards and I don't know when. So you guys have a great day if I don't see you. Uh, later, but I'll see you eventually, okay? See you later. Okay, guys, I'm in here. About to have the surgery. Got my mask on and this purple thing here. So, they're going to start pretty soon after I see the anesthesiologist and the doctor. So, I can't wait for this to be over. 
I'll see you guys later. <laughs> hey, Jazzy Greens, what's going on today? This is two days later from the last clip that I told you I was headed to the hospital to have surgery. That plastic hot gown that they give you. Oh, I was, I was just complaining. <laughs> I was just complaining of the storm because the thing was so hot and just uncomfortable. And then they put that net thing on my hair. But anyway, everything went well. I tolerate the uh, surgery well, and um, I just didn't like the anesthesia. I tell you, the anesthesia, this is a different kind that the uh, anesthesiologist gave me. He gave me something, um, I don't know the name of it, but where they have to put the mask on your nose for you to breathe in the gas. I don't like that because it was making me feel... It made me feel like the stuff was getting down in my throat. I'm like, oh gosh. So the the uh, surgery nurse, she held it over my nose like this. And she said, just breathe in and out. So the anesthesiologist is, is behind me. And he tells me, okay, you're going to be asleep within two minutes. I'm like, hurry up two minutes. Because that stuff was bothering me. Ugh. I don't know if you guys ever had anesthesia like that, you know, with gas that's just what that's the kind that this doctor uh chose to use for whatever reason i'm used to the one where they inject the medicine in your arm you know in, in the um what do you call that thing i'll just say your arm your iv which he did because they said you'll feel some steam burning which i'm 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 okay with that i'm not nervous about nothing like that and I felt it, but I didn't go to sleep right away. It seems like it took me a while to go to sleep. And I'm, she said, just keep breathing in. <sighs> Ugh. So he says, okay, you're going to be asleep completely within one minute. Hold on. Thank you. I'm vlogging. Sorry about that. Hubby just got back in the car. We went to get something to eat, so I got a McCafe coffee, and I went to uh, Taco Bell to get one of those veggie burritos. But anyway, real quick, um, the anesthesia... Ah. Sorry. Just put it down somewhere. Thank you. I'm going to grab it. So we just got some french fries that I wanted a little bit you know to go with my burrito and this coffee that's so good i think mcdonald's coffee is the best okay now some of you some of you may not agree some people love starbucks but i guess i've never gone to Star starbucks and bought a coffee because they're expensive and they have all these different lattes and mocha this and you know i've been hearing some of the youtubers order their coffee and i'm like what in the world are they saying because it's so much to say so i just stick with mcdonald's when i'm out and about like today <clears throat> but getting back to the anesthesia anesthesiologist and anesthesia when he said i'll be sleeping one more minute oh was i happy i'm like yes <laughs> because when they wheeled me in i was already nervous uh just all the prepping and stuff that they got to do and ugh. so anyway it was a success i'm just waiting for um I have to see my doctor in about two and a half weeks uh, post-op surgery. So I'm believing that my, um, I had a biopsy done and I'm believing for that to be normal. So that's what I'm standing on God's word and his healing power for that. So I just wanted to just pop on real quick and let you guys know how it went. Um, I, there was no way that when I woke up from the surgery, because I'm very sensitive to anesthesia, meaning it keeps me asleep. So I did want to film myself, but there was no way I could do that. <laughs> no way. And hubby could not come back there with me um, after the surgery. I think they said something about they just want to give the patient's privacy. And I'm thinking, patient privacy? Well, what's the difference? He came in before the surgery and sat with me. So, you know, I don't really understand what's the difference between earlier and later. But anyway, that's okay. I just let it go. And um, this last thing, and I'm going to let you guys go so we can eat. <laughs> and I don't want my coffee getting cold. So you can eat 
because I like hot, hot coffee. So I'm just gonna say this a little bit and I'll see you guys whenever I see you. Um, the, anesthesi the anesthesia that they gave me, the aftermath, um, it kind of, you know, anesthesia can make you get sick. I didn't get sick, but I was feeling a little, start to feel a little nauseous every time I would move. You know, when they get me up, well, they put my clothes on for me as I'm laying in the bed and I'm trying to help them pull them up and all that stuff. And then just the movement, oh, it was making me feel so sick. I was like, oh gosh, I can't, that's what I hate about anesthesia. And in fact, makes me sleep, sleep, sleep. So, um, the wheelchair guy came, you know, after I got dressed and everything to take me out and all that movement. Oh, I was like, Lord, don't let me get sick. Cause I don't like to do that. And the anesthesiologist, he did put a patch behind my left ear. Um, he said it'll still work. I think within 48, I think two days, if, not, if I'm not mistaken. So I still have it on my ear. I haven't even washed it off. And I think I will take it off sometime tonight. I just didn't want to take it off. I just leave it on, especially since I'm in the car now. Because I do have, and that's only sometimes where I have uh, motion sickness when I'm riding. When I'm in the driver's seat, I haven't felt it. Comment down below if you guys get car sick. Do you know anyone who gets car sick? And what do you do to handle it? With me, I just chew up some Rolaids. I don't have patches. Maybe I should get some. But it's not every time I'm in the car, though. See, that's the thing. It'll come on me when I least expect it. And boy, when it comes on, I'm like, oh. I'll be wanting the car to be stopped. I don't like, I don't like the car movement. And when the car stops, that's when everything stops. You know, my stomach feels better, but I may still feel and look a little weak, but the nausea normally stops. But anyway, if you've experienced that, just let me know. So anyway, I'm gonna let you guys go. I'll see you whenever I see you. So I just wanted to give you guys an update. I'm gonna enjoy this coffee. Mm. See you later.